Hey, space cowboys and space cowgirls. It's baby here again. Well, I haven't seen y'all in a while and I've, I've been kind of anxious about this one. <laughs> My honey bunny's about to pick me up and we're gonna go to Florida. So one of our ranches, Southwest ranches to be specific. So first we have to drop off one of our horses in Ocala because it's gonna be staying there for a while and being trained and all that stuff they do with horses. And we're gonna spend the night there. And then, hey, hey. <laughs> Making new friends all week. <laughs> Howdy to you too, sir. And then, after we spend the night, we're going to go to Southwest Ranches the next day. That's where she has one of her ranches. She's got several all over America. And um, we're just going to have a fun time there. And I'll be showing you more stuff on that ranch and how it's a little bit different than the one in Kentucky. And uh, I'm just excited. Can you tell? Yeah! <laughs> She's going to be here pretty soon in a... Nobody better suck with me though, because I know, I know some karate moves and uh, ninja skills and shit and uh, voodoo and I think I'll be all right though. <laughs> Here she comes, coming on in to the Chevron. Four ninety nine for diesel. <laughs> Caution, we got some horses. Isn't she pretty? She made the ride with us. And this is her friend Rosa. They're so beautiful. I love these unicorns. All right, y'all, I'm excited. So let's get in the truck, okay? Here we go. When you're traveling down the highway, you see all kinds of signs for Jesus to save you. And signs like this, Duckies. I love this store. You can get anything you want in there. And you see signs for Bigfoot. Apparently there's sightings everywhere. My honey bunny even showed me a picture she took with her own phone of Bigfoot once when she's traveling. <sighs> he looks scary, don't he? <sighs> well, we were riding out into the sunset and everything was peaceful and magical until we crossed that Florida state borderline. And then, all the horse shit hit the fan, literally. Now, after you cross that Florida border, you have to get in this really long line if you have a truck with like any kind of livestock or 18 wheelers because they want to make sure you got everything legal, you ain't smuggling nothing and all your paperwork is right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that officer was really sweet, but he had to go check some information, make sure it was correct, and sweet Rosa didn't know what the heck was going on, neither did I. I was wondering, this kind of shit happen often? Anyway, we were on the side of the road just waiting and waiting. There went 30 minutes, 35 minutes, waving through the trucks as they went by us. Swinging on by and waving, hello, how you doing? Yep, there went another truck. Apparently they had all their paperwork together. We did find out the reason we got pulled over was because this is one of my honey bunny trailers and we had expired tags. For three years she'd had this thing, but apparently hadn't driven it all the time, even though it was out of date. It was a big downer to say the least. Big downer. No, baby. We may or may not get all the way to Ocala. Does this shit happen to y'all often? 
birds? What are we really transporting here? Hi! 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 I, I'm just saying hi. Just waving hi. million trucks seemed to go by us. I mean, I was tired. We both were. I was starving. We had some Cheetos, though, so we decided to eat some of these while we were waiting on our ticket. There's the fine amount. Okay. Um, One million dollars. <laughs> like I said, though, um, it's the first offense. Second offense is criminal down in Florida. Don't let it get to that point. I know, that's what you're going to handcuff me next time, girl. Breaking all the rules. Did you, uh, did you look up the FLHF? Yeah, I can't pull it up. Like, my, my, I don't have connection. Where's my phone? I don't know every answer to everything. But yeah, you go through that. Uh, handle that. You'll be good to go. That, I'm going to show up over there. But that will get you to go wherever you're going. Like, if you're going wherever you're going to, that will get you there tonight. Right. Um, and then, before you pull this trailer off of that property, Make sure that it's updated. Make sure that's uh, right. updated. Thank you, sir, so much. We, we are do. so sorry. Y'all have a nice evening. You do. Bye. <sighs> that officer was nice. It took us forever to finally get to the ranch. Hog having my ass. Then we were on this road forever. There was no lights. Waze was taking us the wrong direction, and it seemed like we got out of the car. That's when the scary movie was going to start, so we didn't do it. Got to the end of the road, it told us to take a sharp right. Sharp right, my ass. We took it right into these neighbors' yard. Couldn't turn the damn trailer around. Fucked up all their landscaping. And uh, well, hopefully we didn't get in too much trouble the next day with the neighbors. No. We're gonna get out of here in just one second, baby. One second. Are you ready to get out? I oh, know. Just one second, okay? You'll be in your new place for the evening. My honey bunny and I go have margarita. Yeah, baby. What you think about your new home for the night? Well, that was a little exhausting. I am here in the bathroom, finally, because I have got to pee pee really bad. That officer took forever. It seemed like we were there for an hour and a half and we almost ran out of gas. But anyway, my honey bunny and I are real hungry and we need a cocktail, so we're gonna go have some drinks and uh, probably just see y'all tomorrow. So for tonight, sweet dreams, space cowboys and space cowgirls. See you tomorrow, Bill. My honey bunny and I were so hungry and we were about to run out of gas. Look at it. But we didn't care. We had to make it to the restaurant. We needed alcohol. I mean, look at it. We were literally on empty, running on diesel fuels. But fuck it, we had to have a drink. That whole shebang, my honey bunny and I couldn't take it no more. We didn't even fill up the gas tank. We just had to go in here and have a margarita. Pull us for a picture. Yes, <laughs> and they're open till 11. Arriba, arriba! <laughs> Well, this is about how I felt at the end of the night. Whew. That night, I dreamt about Bigfoot, though. It was the craziest dream. And I also dreamt I was flying on a white horse. Maybe that's how I should travel next time. <laughs> Yeehaw, y'all.